the affirmative made some points that I want to point out. First, uh, Peter said that there's a 7% increase between um, the schools that has uh, the abstinent education and the school that um, distribute con the birth control. 7% increase is actually very significant, statistically significant. It shows how the abstinent program can actually prevent it and it's better than not using, not having the abstinent program at all and not, uh, in not having that uh, reducing of the, um, the pregnancy rate. And it's, P also said that uh, sex is norm. Uh, we're not saying that we're not we're not saying that uh, people should not have sex. So we're just saying that at our age, at teens, it's it can lead to pregnancies and others due to lack of knowledge. And our opponent also said that he's not uh, the teens are not able to resist peer pressure. But how are the teens not going to resist peer pressure when everyone's doing it? It's just like the drug effect. If a lot of people are doing it, obviously the teens are going to be tempted to do drugs. And um, I'd like to expand on what uh, my partner Ali said on the uh, taxpayers. The taxpayers, most of them don't agree with the distribution of birth controls anyway, so why force them to pay for something that they don't believe in? In short, the affirmative plan will eventually lead to idolizing sex as a norm, and this will only increase the problems, and it will certainly not work. Thank you and please vote for the negative.